been some uh, some standout performances uh, in those first few heats, and really looking forward to this one. Benzie, we've got Finn McGill. He's the number two seat for this event, and he's up against Kahu Butler from New Zealand and Erwin Blaren um, from France. So a couple of wild cards here up against the number two seat, as you alluded to before. He made the semi-finals here last year. Um, well, this looks like Kahu Butler getting things going. The powerful Kiwi surfer on his backhand spends a lot of time on the Gold Coast. And, uh, that's We'll see how he uh, how he's uh, rehabbed that ankle as we see a couple of waves opening up here. Kaihu 2.83, and we see a nice little air reverse on the inside there by by Irwin and Finn McGill. So everyone opening their accounts in a bit of a flurry. Uh, you can see the uh, the surfers are all moved into the inside part of that sandbank, uh, a little bit sort of south of where they started off this morning. On the Gold Coast, alongside Tyler Wright, John John Florence. And all the rest of the champs that have been crowned throughout the years, the, throughout the year, the longboard champs and uh, the like. So we'll be seeing those guys off each other's energy. Are they, they travelling together? What, talk us through their sort of uh, team mentality here at Kayama. Okay, so the question is uh, a bunch of Hawaiians here and uh, holding some of the top seeds. Do you guys all travel together and, and feed off each other's energy or do you, you really sort of play your own game? Oh, uh, you know, I know some of them, you know, they, they all travel together, you know. Um, uh, we're going to take a look at Irwin's replay now. He starts off going left over here. Look at him just jamming down the line, looking for an opportunity. Does the big little air reverse and lands that nice and clean. So that was, well, that was his first wave, the 4.33. That got him into uh, an early lead in this heat, courtesy of that combination of waves. And this Finn was McGill. Finn behind him. I'd imagine this was his 4.5. So a couple of turns out the back that we didn't quite see. These are them. So uh, that is Finn McGill getting his World Junior Jeep World Junior Championship campaign underway. And, uh, still a few more scores in 21 and a half minutes ago. Owen Bluen is out in front with a 5.27 and a 4.33. Uh, obviously, world champion, as we see him now paddling into this wave, using his priority on a left hander. Bit of a slower start to this one as the wave starts to wind up on that inside bank. Now, there's that second carve. Gets a bit of a release out of the tail. And he looked to finish strong over here and does with a nice little whippy end turn to finish off that one. So trying to build the house here. Got a 4.33 as his lowest counting wave at this stage of the heat. And uh, make his way to the big leagues. A win at the World Junior Championships would be a major step in the right direction. And here, here goes go. the powerful natural footer. He's on his backhand. He's found himself a long racy left. A couple of turns, no major real damaging hits as we see a 6.57 drop. This is the 5.27 we see on our screen now. I love that carve. You see uh, he had two options there, go around uh, 180 or sort of spin around in the reverse and uh, he chose the reverse and then this inside section offered him a few more scoring potential uh, opportunities through the inside there and he, uh, he made the most of that for that 6.57. Yeah, and this is the 6.57 Irwin's last wave. Big powerful turn there. It was probably where the bulk of his points came from and then backing up fluently through yeah, to the strong inside. Finish. Strong finish. Well, he's not going to get on that one though, but Kohu will. Yeah, and he spied a right. Good looking section. He'll look to bank some big points. Nice crisp first turn to get things going. Is this wave going to cooperate and offer him a section? Okay, this is looking good for the Kiwi surfer. Gets over through to the inside, so some big points on offer yeah. here for Kayu Butler and signs off on that one nicely, so. And this is Butler's last way we get back to the criteria. Look at this off the bottom and a nice big square turn off the top. And this is where he just uh, bars his time to get through the white water. He rebounds off this little cutback here and now this is where he keeps the energy up, keeps that board moving. So the momentum's always projecting down the line and he yeah, punctuates the move with a, uh, a strong little finish there. So nice surfing from Kayu. And then while that was, was happening, we saw Finn McGill taking on a left-hander. Goes for the big air reverse. Nice clean turn, too. Got a lot of pop out of that turn. And um, that'll be uh, a good one for Finn. As you see him here, projects kind of laterally out, but then gets that back foot, pulling that tail around towards the beach, spins the top off of his body, and uh, is able to kind of ride out of that white water soup. Uh, nice. And uh, Kehu decides he's not interested in that. And here goes Finn McGill on his backhand once more. Gets a little bit um, out of rhythm on that first turn and decides to pull the pin. He's not going to waste any time going further down the beach and uh, you know, force himself to do even more paddling than he has to. 13 minutes remaining. That last wave for Kehu Butler, a 6.43. Second is with Kehu in 
There we go. Blue, but um, with these beach rage conditions, there's the 7.1 for Finn McGill. Yeah, so it was a one-turn manoeuvre, or one-turn wave, should I say. You can see here projecting down the line, a lot of speed from that takeoff. And this is where he rotates the top half of his torso, allowing the back of the board to spin around. He comes just disconnected a little bit there on that back foot, but manages to stomp the landing nice and cleanly. So the highest scoring wave of the heat. And he also has Medina in as one of his. And speaking of Medina, look at this guy, Erwin Blowen, throwing wow. it all the like it's no one's business. Nice and clean as a whistle. And at the same time as Erwin was doing some damage, here goes Finn McGill. He was only looking for a 4.74. And we see the body language there, not impressed that he didn't complete that manoeuvre, leaving some points on the yeah. board. And then Erwan, big really tail, high reverse. He's happy with that. Really good. I was really surprised how much speed he was able to generate in that short space of time, straight from the takeoff, almost straight into this turn. And here he goes. He almost gets the grab in, spins around, kind of lands in the 180, but then spins around in the white water. And he comes out nice and clean, and he's happy with that. Why wouldn't he be? And then we go on the inside. Finn McGill, this right-hander kind of not as, uh, doesn't stand up as much as those left-handers, probably not offering as much scoring potential. And there it is, the last wave for Owen Blue and a 6.77, so not quite the highest scoring wave of the heat so far, but his highest scoring wave, and it's extended his lead. Finn McGill now needs a 6.24, with 45 seconds to go, has priority. He needs a 6.91. And now Owen Bluen oh. is putting on a show. <laughs> He's loving that one. He's I just come from nowhere. He lost his major sponsor last year. He said that's one of his uh, biggest incentives is now to sort of fire up and show the world he's got what it takes <laughs> yeah. through to round three. And taking down possibly a couple of more highly fancied rivals yeah, in I'd Finn McGill so. and Kay Hu Butler. So that is heat five round one of the Jeep World Junior Championships in the can up next in heat six the top seed for the whole event from hawaii cody young coming up against local wildcard lucas rice and the tahitian um, young gun Coley vast so they'll be coming in our way here at bombo beach in kayama uh, we're going to throw to a quick ad